something very negative. And, 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 and as a father and a human being, and, and it's, it's, it, for you, you know, I know what you're like. You're always on the road. You're always at fights. You're always working. To have this time connecting with your children must be amazing, you know? Yeah, it's, yeah without, without a doubt. It's, it's definitely, it's, it feels like the, the, the world's handbag's been pulled up and you kind of gives you, t- gives you chance, a chance you don't usually have in life to sort of take stock of everything. You can kind of do a bit of a reevaluation, and you can clean out your cupboards and your garage and all the things that are not that important compared to what your daily grind is. Now that your daily grind slowed down or it's changed a little bit, you actually looking looking within, looking outside. You you can start you know tidying things up. So when the the wheels start moving again, you can start moving in the right direction. You have some solid foundations for with for whatever it is and whatever direction you want to want to aim to. And just finally on your son. Um, it, it's not. It's not Cassius. Is it Cassius or not? Cassius. 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 Hey, yeah. It is Cassius. Hey, that's right. Yeah. yeah. Um, I thought it was. I remember when he was a tiny baby. I mean, he's a big boy now. He's a big he boy. Is. Twelve. He's... Um, like I was saying about he's ripped. Are you very keen that he doesn't become a boxer? Would you rather him win the world light heavyweight title or Wimbledon? I'd rather him win Wimbledon for sure. I know. I. 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 I I much prefer him to do that. I know how hard it is to be a professional boxer. It's a it's a it's a sport and it's and it's a it's a way of life, just like tennis is. But it's the the gruelingness. I'm not sure whether uh, you know he hasn't come from where I've come from. You know he, he's been uh, grew, up, grew up in the mansion and he's, he's it's not you know where I came from as a growing up. I I had to succeed. It was either succeed or go back to insignificance and I couldn't I couldn't allow that you know but physically he's got he's got the tools you know if he wanted to do boxing I believe he could he could do it and he, you know you got guys like Chris Eubank Jr who you could say would grow up with a silver spoon in his mouth but now he's a world class champion of the world you know he's a genuine bona fide world champion Floyd Mayweather comes from but has that fight. desire as well but still he has has, desire. Yeah. so far it's, like, it's the physical trauma to his head yeah, 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 yeah. that as a father that I, I wouldn't like to, if he wanted to do it, I'll back him 100%, but he hasn't fortunately for me shown any desire to want to fight anybody. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know, I know you say yeah, but um, <laughs> if he does, great, and, and I'll back him, And if, but I'm, I'm happy that he, he's chosen tennis to be his... Who's that crawling around at the back? I know, he's crawling around at the back down there. I know, I've uh, got your lipstick, Nicole. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, she's a, uh, she's a, uh, what, what, what you get, uh, get sorting out some emails. She's, she's emailing. I've still got that, that lipstick she lost in Vegas. Jamie, she's got your lipstick. Gareth's got your lipstick still. Yeah, he said, he said, <laughs> um, but, but, but the key is basically when it all boils down, you don't want him to have that. It's almost like you said, it's, it's all, it's a calling, but it's masochism. It's, it's, Pride, it's all those things that it's a very weird algorithm of things that makes you turn that turns you into a boxer. And you hope that he's going to be, you know, yeah. a, a, yeah, he goes to a good school, he's so much more intelligent than I was at his age. He goes to yeah. a lovely school, yeah. you know, he goes to a tennis academy, he's playing four t- hours of tennis every day in amongst yeah. his doing his GCSEs. He's, he's, you know, he's got he's a he's a he's a different, he's, he's comes from a completely different place. And, um, you know, I, I love to fight because that's what I did every day. You know, he doesn't, he doesn't need to fight at school. They don't fight at the school he goes to. There's no fights. Don't, no one has fights. No and I know, and I remember day. your stories. You were having fights every Friday yeah. at 4 o'clock yeah. Yeah. outside those school gates. I and mean, yeah. we've talked about it. Um, yeah. Is he on the GB squad yet or anything yeah, he like that? Play, he plays for GB. He plays for GB yeah. now. So he's flying around the world in different tournaments. So he's right. already in... And he's already he's already moving. It took me till I was 16 before I got recognised to to represent uh, in the UK, so or, or, or England rather. Yeah. Um, for, fight, or do, it was London. I had a few tournaments for London, going to Sweden and and Norway. But then and then when I was 17, I had my first in, international call up as a senior uh, when I boxed at the, the Liverpool Multi Nations. I came um, to see that, yeah. believe it or not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Back in the day, yeah. <laughs> so weird. So, so by the fact that he's already been, he's already selected at his age group at twelve already yeah. shows okay, he's, he's, he's moving in the right direction. Yeah. yeah. Um, this weekend, yeah. um, obviously you've got the. I'm going to talk to you about the dinner, and this as the last question. This weekend, 
would have been Chisora Yusik, I believe. It would have been. It would have been Chisora Yusik. How weird is it? It's very strange, though. You know, Derek was in a very, very good place and still is in a good place. You know, he, he knows he's this close, this close to... If he wins this fight against the WBO mandatory, undisputed, undefeated, pound-for-pound pound top five fighter, he's got an opportunity against one of the elite big man in the in the yeah. world yeah if he can pull off the victory which i believe he can i believe he's got the tools to do it the mindset the physicality he's got the the momentum if he can pull this off he then gets the, the he's then he's then in line for the big one the big one that everybody wants and he knows that he can taste it so um although this this lockdown has been um frustrating it's frustrating for Derek and it's frustrating for you because they both feel that they're in the same spot so um, it all depends on who can hold it together, who can allow this this lockdown not to take them off course. Can you stay in the zone whilst you, you don't have a fight date? And that's the difference. I remember when I was challenging for Jean-Marc Mormek, the fight got delayed by nine months. And, and I, there was no I didn't actually sign the contract for the fight until five days before the fight when I arrived in the Levallois. So... I didn't, it wasn't confirmed till five days before. Yeah, I've been training for a whole year for this specific fight. And um, it's all about mindset. It's all about knowing deep down the fight's going to happen and training like it's happened. Even if there's no date, you still got to go to the gym with a mindset and I've got to give 100%. I've got to push my body to the limit. And if, if whichever fighter was able to do that up until the fight date, because if, for instance, we just say, okay, four weeks time, we've got the O2 Arena, the, the rules are changed. You either take this fight or not take the fight. What are you going to do? You have to take the fight. And yeah. if you're out, if you're 12 weeks away from being in fighting shape, you're going to underperform. Whereas if you've been tr you've been training, you've been doing all the things behind the scenes, and you get something sprung on you, you know, okay, I can just adapt my training, do a lot more speed work, a little bit more sparring, two weeks of sparring, and I'm good to go. So it's just getting that that message across to Derek, and I think he's got it. He's tra he's training every day, twice a day sometimes, still with no with no date in mind. So it's it's all about mindset. He doesn't want to allow this to this hiccup to, to lessen his chances. Is it really weird when you think back? It's just over eight years ago that you were both in Munich together. Obviously, I was there as well. Or the, the, where you brawled with him in the press conference after yeah. you were working TV, uh -huh. and you have that fight at West Ham. Uh, it's the last fight before the Olympics in 2012. Yeah. And eight years later, have you had a chance to... To, to think back on that, because a lot of people have been quite nostalgic during the lockdown. You must have thought about things like that, and now you're working together. Yeah, it's 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 an interest, it's an interesting one. I, it feels like it's a whole lifetime ago, and yeah. the way that I see Derek now is very different to how I saw him back then. Back mm -hmm. then, we didn't have a relationship. I didn't know him personally at all. You know, mm -hmm. he was just a guy who I'd seen on television doing things that you'd want Random to stay away from. Shit. Random mad shit. But random mad shit is what he used to do. <laughs> and uh, obviously, I go to commentate on one of his fights in, in Germany, in Munich, uh, after the, which he actually performed very, very well in. And I gave him plenty of credit at the time. And then afterwards, it kicks off, and we have a, a, like a brawl in front of 200 of the world's press and media, catching it all, which is was front-page news. It was terrible. We should be banned from boxing. Boxing is a disgrace. But what it also did was generate one of the biggest hypes to any non-heavyweight title fight ever. You'd have thought it was a heavyweight championship with the, the amount of hype. You had a cage between us at the press conferences. You know, the British Border Control said they won't sanction it. So the Luxembourg Boxing Federation came in to say it was like it was, it was a license to thrill. That was the tagline for the, from the event. So now it's like, you know, to, earlier on today, you know, he was down there with his daughter and then and we were just hanging out and it was just... You know, we're buddies now. We're both on this course. We're both, we've got a, a united goal with getting him to the promised land. I've done it with myself at two weight divisions. I think I know what's needed mentally, physically, you know, team wise. So I've structured things around him to give him the best opportunity to fulfill his potential. I don't think he's fulfilled it yet. I don't think the, the nearly win against uh, um, Dylan White was his finest hour. Although on paper, it might look like that winning on the points. The fact that he didn't win it, and I know he's good enough to win those fights if yeah. he gets it right and statistic and and, and strategic strategically, if he's physically there, if he gets it at the right time, if the moon and if the moon and stars align for him, he can beat anybody on his day. Completely agree. Completely agree.
Um, and, and even Tyson Fury's mentioned a trilogy fight with Derek at some point. Um, so just two, two more other things quickly. Um, the, what do you make of Eddie Hearns? Obviously, I've spoken to Eddie and Frank. It doesn't look like Derek and Usyk will be on that four weeks of, of um, uh, matchroom too fight. Big. It's too big. It's too, too big, big for that. It's too yeah. big for that. You can't get the undisputed cruiserweight champion yeah. uh, fighting in the garden. Like, yeah. it's, 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 that's, that's, it's too big for that. It, it deserves the headline billing of a pay-per-view event, which needs build-up. And if you've got to wait, you know, a couple of months, then it is what it is. You know, it's... Um, you want it with an audience, though? Will, will it have Derek, to... Derek, Derek, Derek would much prefer it with an audience, you know, yeah. but what you prefer and what you, and what you get are two completely different things, particularly during this, uh, the COVID crisis, you know, you, you get what you're given. Um, but... I definitely feel um, Derek's style, the fact that he, he works on adrenaline, he works on the crowd, feeds off the crowd, particularly if it's in London, he's going to have, you know, 90% of the fans are going to be there for him, cheering him on, and that's going to give him energy. Isn't, that's isn't, give him energy. isn't it fascinating, though, that he was, you know, he went from this kind of figure that was a bit vilified and seems a bit of a dickhead eight years ago. Nobody was. I'll let, I'll let him know you said that. that I'll, that's I'll, fine. I'll, I'll, but, but no, but he knows. No, but... No, he's seen your kicks. He's seen your kicks. He knows. Yeah, he's yeah. yeah boom, bang. He's <laughs> go. no, no, but the funny thing is, no, but he used to do dickhead things, I mean. Yeah. Now, he still does those kind of things, but we all love it because yeah. he, he's gone from... The lovable villain, rogue. The lovable so rogue. Lovable, so lovable. You know, yeah. no, I've I mean, known... You know. It's because he underperformed when he used to fight. I, I think that's it's all down to his performances in the right. ring. He'd give it the big and before, yeah. and, he, and he wouldn't live up to the hype in the ring. Yeah. Even in his recent losses, he has performed. So yes. it's like, it, this is gone, this is, this is gone, this is long the time since the um, Monaco days where he gave it the big talk and didn't turn up. Yeah. Since that point, he, every single time he's fought, he's risen to the occasion and he's, and he's performed, and the fans know they're getting value for money when he turns up because he's putting it online. The way he attacked Spilker, the way he attacked David Price, even Dylan White, you know, Dylan White had everything he could handle up until the point that he was able to stop him. And the fight he was losing after having two points deducted. Yeah. So, you know, people, people register those, those performances and, uh, and judge, and they, they judge someone. Look at what's happened to Tyson Fury. Same thing. He said a load of crazy stuff, but people are now judging him on what he does in the yeah. ring only. Forget about what he does out of the ring. That's his personality. What's he going to do when he gets to the ring? I'm supporting the guy in the ring. What he says outside, it's just press. I don't care. But if you if you enjoy good boxing, if you enjoy someone dominating him, you're going to tune in for Tyson Fury fights. Uh, finally, then, because our time is up, and it's lovely speaking to you. It's great to see you on such good form. Um, tell me about the dinner on Friday night. So yeah, are, you, yeah, are you cooking go, everything? I'm, cook, I'm cooking. Everyone's cooking. The whole idea is uh, effectively... Um, Gusto is a, a delivery company. They deliver food to you where they give you all the ingredients you need to cook a, a beautiful meal. And people, they, they did a survey, and you know, 50% of people are actually a more, um, they find the meal times more of an occasion since yes. this lockdown started. I agree. Yeah. People are, are, are taking their meal times so much more seriously and they're they're having their skype calls and having dinner with their uncle with their uncle or with their parents and they can still sit down and have a conversation whilst eating and people are re people are really connecting with that you know 83 percent of people uh look forward to these video calls as some type of mood lift to try to get them out of whatever the funk is they've been through throughout the weeks they're they're worried about their job security worried about finances you know what do they have to look forward to and Having a, having, a, having a sit down meal with someone to have a talk about how someone else's day is, is something that's really been connecting with people. So what, um, um, what Gusto have done is they've, they, they, they've set a system up where a million people can tune in and have uh, a dinner oh. with myself, you know, Nick Grimshaw, um, Catherine Ryan, um, Paloma Faith, you know, good, you know, good interesting people with com from completely different walks of life. And you can sit down and have a meal with them and you're going to cook your meal together. Everyone cooks a similar meal. I'm doing a, a mushroom risotto. So nice. I'm a terrible cook. I'm a terrible cook. How are you? So, so I'm yeah. hoping that, obviously, although they give you all the ingredients you need, it's how you mix it up, I'm sure, and how you cook it. So hopefully my, my cooking skills are on point. But everyone's going to see how that goes down. You're going to get dressed up. And it's going to give people a reason, to, uh, something to look forward to. 
on a Friday night. So Friday, if you're interested, it's a table for one million dot com. People can tune in and um, have a dinner with a million other people. So that's T A B L E table for one, table for one yeah. dot com. Okay, yeah, yeah, dot com. So table for one million dot com. No, that's brilliant. Um, listen, it's great to see you, and I just want to prove if she's there. She's gone. Oh, she's gone. oh you've got the lipstick. You've still got a lipstick. I'm, I've kept it for her. <laughs> Good stuff. Are you sure that's it? Does it? It doesn't vibrate. That thing, does it? Uh, I, I, I don't know. I haven't opened it, David. I wouldn't know. But there you go. But let Nicole, your agent, know that it is there, and I All will. Right. But it might be eight months before we see each other. Uh, who knows? Who, who, who knows when uh, we're all going to get back prediction? together? What's finally? What's your prediction when we'll all be back together again? Not at a lot, but not a bit behind closed doors event, but with an audience. When, how long is it going to take for people to have the confidence? I'm, I'm, I'm hoping. I think it's going to be a little while. I think it will be optimistic to think that this year you will be able to get twenty thousand people sat next to each other. Wow. Right? I feel I, I'd like I'd I'm just going by how it looks out there in the world. Yeah. Maybe everyone does. Maybe everyone have to wear a mask or do or do or have some sort of protocol. But that it looks like it's going to take a little while. I've seen what the UFC have done, which is fantastic. The fact they was able to get it on in Miami. I've seen there's a few more box events, but with, without a crowd. I'm I'm just really feeling for these young fighters who have dedicated their lives. They've 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 self financed their training camps, and all of a sudden they don't have any work through no fault of their own. They're staying healthy, they're training, and they've still got bills to pay. They've still got they've got they've got kids to feed. They got they, and they've got no income. And you know, there's so many different people. You know, people forget. People think uh, boxers are millions and millions of pounds. That's not the case. That's less than one percent of the boxing. Um, one percent of the boxing attorney earn these crazy numbers. The rest of them have to have a second job. People are, and yeah. that second job's in jeopardy. So they do boxing as a second second job, and th this is the thing that normally keeps them above water. That's it's done for the moment. But I'm, that's why I'm so happy to hear Eddie's found a way. You know, if anyone's going to do it, it's just you know Eddie get Frank Warren, some of the big boys. Let's get them together. Let's just let's, let's try and find any type of way to keep these young fighters ticking over because you don't want a year gap for no reason. You need to keep active, even if there's no one in the crowd, even if you're you're earning half of what you would have earned you need to keep active you need to keep busy i've taken fights in the past for no money because it was the right thing at that time you know there wasn't the big paydays at the time so but i need i'm looking at myself as a as a, as a professional athlete i needed to do what i needed to do to be in physically the best shape for the big fights where there is the money so maybe if fighters look at this phase as okay i just want to i just need some work just call it a glorified sparring session you know you don't get paid for sparring and although it is a job, there's only so many fighters and so few shows right now. It's a uh, it's a uh, it's a tough economic uh, situation any any professional athlete finds himself in now. But it's good to see the the light at the end of the tunnel. You know, even if it's fighting in someone's back garden, it's still fighting. I've boxed in the back garden before. My I think it was my first, third or fourth fight. I boxed in um, the Playboy Mansion in Bel Air in, in Hugh Hefner's That's back a garden. That's kind of back garden. I know, no, it's a back garden. It's a back garden, nonetheless. I've done it before, and it was a great. I had a great time. The after party was, was one of the best after parties I've ever had. I won my fight in 45 seconds. So, I, I think it's a great thing. I say I'm looking for, but not that you can go down there. Are they going to have crowds there? Is or is it just going to be televised? 90 people. That's it. The whole nice. thing. Okay, well, it's you know it's innovative, and if that's how yeah, we're going to get it over the line, there's always a way. There's always where there's a will, there's a way, and there's definitely a will. Just finally, very short answers because my time really is up and I'm going over. Are you saying then that if there are no crowds till next year, that Derek and Usyk may have to wait till next year to, to do? Um, I, 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 maybe if it's if it's a pay per view event, maybe there's there's an option of doing it um, in a in a venue uh, if the if the desire is there. I, I'm I'm pretty sure whatever money may be lost via the ticket sales will be recouped. You know, with pay-per-view sales, that yeah, people are yeah, clucking yeah, currently yeah. for pay-per-view events. They 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 want anything. They they've they've only just started getting a little bit of football back in Germany. They've had a little few um, matches over no crowd, which is really weird to see. But at least the, the wheels 